Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna cover six of my favorite tools for bug bounty hunting. And the reason I chose six is because I couldn't narrow it down to five. So we're gonna cover six. Before we get started, I just want to mention that this list is very different than the list I would use if I was making a list for penetration testing tools because bug bounty hunting and penetration testing are going to be very different. And the list of tools I would take with me for a penetration test on a Windows client versus a Linux client would also be different. So this video is specifically for bug bounty hunting tools that I think I use the most. Number one is probably one that most people don't think of, and that is a VPN. The reason I would suggest having a VPN is really for two reasons. First, if you're going to be making a lot of malicious requests to a website, it is possible that you will get your IP banned. If you have a VPN, you can just spin up a new VPN location and have a new IP address and continue testing. And second is if you are using a tool like Fuff that is going to make a lot of requests when you're doing something like directory fuzzing or looking for subdomains, you could get your IP banned this way as well. Fuff will make hundreds of requests per second and you could possibly get your IP banned. This does happen. There are some programs that will just automatically ban your IP and then you will need to throttle back your requests and you can use a VPN to just get a new IP address. So number one is a VPN. VPN. Number two is Nmap. I decided to throw Nmap in this list just because you can, you can scan for the most common ports and see what is running and see if it can get some OS detection and know what you're up against. Using Nmap to look for common ports and the software that they're running can be helpful in enumerating what is on the website. So Nmap is really great for enumeration and knowing what you're up against. Number three, I chose to go with Sublister because it's really fast and it will throw down a bunch of subdomains for you real quick to automatically start fuzzing and continuing your recon on and give you some good targets that may not be tested against frequently and it'll give you a good opportunity to go out and look at some subdomains and start fuzzing them and looking for bugs that a lot of people probably haven't gone out and tested for and always remember when you go to a new subdomain or a main page that one tool you're going to need is number four and that is fuff you're going to need to start fuzzing for different endpoints and directories so it is really fast i use it for subdomains directories and api fuzzing it is really a great tool for fuzzing and it is really quick. And number five is one I almost didn't include because I thought it was so obvious, but I decided to go ahead and throw it in there is burp. Obviously we're gonna be using burp a lot. You're gonna be in burp repeater and burp is one of those tools you're gonna need to get really comfortable with intercepting requests and going into repeater. This is one of those places that I would say probably most bug bounty hunters spend a significant amount of time in burp repeater, just sending requests back and forth, seeing what they can manipulate. So burp is number five. And the last tool is Google. Google is a great one. There are so many different things you can do with Google. There's so much information you can pull down with Google and we can check version numbers. We can automatically start looking for possible exploits with Google. So Google is a go-to. And one of the things you can also do with Google is look for other tools if you can't figure something out and you are going to need Google when you're in burp and you're inside repeater and you are sending requests and maybe getting information back that you are unfamiliar with. Google is something I believe every single bug bounty hunter and programmer and penetration tester uses all the time. If you are interested in more tools then you can check out the link to a GitHub page that I have linked down below. It holds a whole bunch of common penetration testing and bug bounty hunting tools, and you can read through and test out some of the different tools for yourself. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe for more relevant and up-to-date hacking content.